I had never felt I was especially good at anything. I mean, I was fine. I could play, you know, like playing sports and stuff, but I was never really felt that I excelled at anything. I'll never forget a, a reading out of this play script with the theater teacher. I thought, I know how to do this. I know how to do this. You know, I had a lot of anxiety um, as a young actor coming from a such a famous showbiz family. You know, there was a, sort of a lot to live up to. So I was originally, uh, you know, really drawn to the theater. I wasn't so interested in movies. You know, there was a subconscious thing of needing to figure out who I was as an actor before I went anywhere near Hollywood. Being uh, an actor really, you know, helped me as a director because at first and foremost, I was able to communicate with actors in a way that was extremely helpful. On my first film, I didn't know what I was doing. So I thought, well, I'll just try and be the kind of director that I've always dreamed of having myself. So what kind of director would I want on a set? So I just tried to be that. I can watch an actor's performance and if they're getting off track, I can so I just put myself in their position and go, what would I need to hear as an actor to get myself back on track? So I can kind of go through that thought process, which is very helpful. I'm always drawn to a movie, uh, a script, because of its themes. What is it about? Everything stems from that. With Conviction, for example, it's, you know, it's, a, it's about a relationship between a brother and a sister. We're just constantly referencing that, and every decision comes back to that. That's, that's, the, that's the touchstone of it. What you really need to have your attention on all the time is staying creative and doing work. So you have to constantly be self-generating. It keeps your creative juices flowing so that when opportunities do come your way, you're in flow. Every time you have an audition, you're looking for the moment when you go, oh, I have a point of view on this character. I know what I wanna do with this. I, I kind of feel where this lives in me. If you're not at that stage yet, what you're gonna be doing is walking in going, what do they want? What should I, what should I be doing? How, how do I get this job? What's, what am I supposed to be doing? If you're ever in that mindset, you haven't worked hard enough. And believe me, in my early days, I did hundreds of auditions in that mindset and it's no fun. Frankly, it gives, as a director, I look for someone who has a point of view on what they're doing. It may be different than what I thought, but I'll go, that was interesting, wow. Can we try it a different way? You know, but I go, oh, an actor that has a point of view, that's what I'm looking for. Not an actor who wants to please me or wants to do what they think I want. Um, that's, the, that's the sort of audition advice I would give. It was Inherit the Wind in, a, uh, in ninth grade. and The part I wanted, I didn't get. So uh, I was hooked. <laughs>